Hey Aquarius, welcome back to Distilled Tarot. My name's Shannon, I'll be guiding you through today's reading. This is going to be our daily reading for Tuesday, December 29th. Let's see what's going on with Aquarius. At the heart of your reading, we have the Knight of Presence in reverse. You're working towards something, but you feel a bit stalled out. Um, you don't you don't have the pace at which you want to be moving. It could be slower. It could be an issue of timing, like waiting for the right timing. It might not be the right time for the move you want to make at the moment. Or you might be right on track. I mean, because bottom of the deck is right side up. The Wheel of Fortune is here. It's saying you are right on time. Okay. Okay. That's what it is. You are right on time. You just feel like you're going slow. <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. That checks out. Your challenge, page of candles, communicating what you really want out of the situation, communicating from a, a soul level, soul level, soul level perspective, like that fire that's within you, the, the light of truth that's within you, sharing the light that's within you. You may be a light worker and you have an idea or you're trying to work on something and universe is like, patience, it's not exactly the right time. Keep working on it. Keep going on this path. There's going to be lulls. There's going to be periods of moving forward. Just slow and steady wins the race. Keep going, keep going. The challenge might be, I do feel communication element with this though. It's like how to go about communicating the, the message that's inside of you or the, the, what is it? How to communicate your intentions. Hmm. How to communicate your intentions, what they're giving me. Communicate, clarify, communicate your intentions to whom? Two of presence in reverse to clarify. Um, I think that you need to more clearly communicate what you want to the universe because this tells me that you you desire or you're trying to work on more than one thing. You're juggling more than what you should be at the moment. And if you focus a bit further, that will communicate your intentions to the universe so that they can align the path for you to move forward at the pace you want to move. Interesting. Don't try to bite off more than you can chew here, and you'll be on better footing. Your focus is the four of potions in reverse. You're trying to be open to what the universe is offering you. You are emotionally open. This is saying you've been stagnant in the past. You've been lacking engagement in the past. But at this point, you're saying yes to the to to life. Like whatever is happening in your life, you're engaging with it. You're it, you want to be involved with. My readings for Aquarius are always so open and vague. <laughs> I swear, if you guys watch the other the other um, uh, zodiac signs. It's always something super specific. Like I had a reading the other day for um, someone trying to create a recipe and they were missing an ingredient. And someone commented like, yeah, that was exactly me. I had to settle on ordering pizza. It's like Aquarius readings are always so like high minded and vague and general energies. Because what I'm sensing here is very much like, okay, I felt stagnant in the past and now I'm just open to life. I'm open to Whatever life wants to bring my way, I'm saying yes to life. 
that's that's cool. That's good energy. I'm just kind of on a personal level, I'm I'm kind of giggling inside, like, okay, like Aquarius, you don't want a, a specific reading. Watch next next week or tomorrow's reading is gonna be like super specific, maybe. Okay. In the recent past, we have the nine of candles. This is not giving up. Persistence pays off. It's like that point at which the universe tests you to see if this is really what you want. So you've been through the trial by fire, you passed the test, and now you're like, why am I not at the finish line? I passed the nine, am I not at the 10 yet? Universe is like, well, you're still on your journey. Just, you know, give it time. This is all part of it. I do get, like, when I was clarifying, though, the, the heart of the reading, I, I, there's a, a some ambivalence that um, you're still a little bit, like, um, focused in multiple directions, not sure what you want. The more certain you are about what you want or what your goal is for the situation, that's what it is. Set more goals. You need to give the universe goals to work with. I just got a strong hit of, of that was that I hit on what they wanted me to say. Um, okay. You don't need the finish line goal. You need to just be more goal oriented here because when you, it, it's an energetic thing. When you focus your energy on a specific goal, energetically, that pulls the thing to you. If you're just um, working in a certain direction and, oh, thank you, holy smokes. They're saying, I was saying all the vagueness for a reason because we are in a vague energy and they want us to, um, to focus it and be more goal oriented. They're saying from a human perspective that the way that spirit works with humanity, with the 3D realm is human has a goal <laughs> The goal energetically sends off a rocket of desire to spirit world, and spirit world can work with that. But when you are just um, generally moving t in the direction that you want, not saying, okay, um, next week I want to achieve this, and then next month I want to achieve that. It may not seem necessary to all of us Aquarians, to specifically set goals. However, what they really want to come out through this reading is to that it will be just super duper helpful for your spirit team. It's something about the particular way that spirit works with the human realm that would be really helpful to them to be able to help you. They're like, help me help you. <laughs> Set a goal, please. Start setting goals and work toward those goals. Stay, once you set the goal, stay super focused on achieving it and you will, you will start achieving those goals. You'll, you'll start, they're, they're giving me the sense of like, um, what is this, this idea? It's like, ching, 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 like, like things just start, um, it's not a, it's not like a slot machine paying off. It's like a, a ticker tape or I, I'm not sure exactly what this energy is, but it's something like like starting to to line up like you send out the desire for the goal and then they're like cool we can fulfill this order she gave us an order now we can fill it <laughs> like like you're at a, the the cosmic restaurant of life and they're like she's just sitting at the table not ordering anything she's sitting like she's she's hungry she knows what she wants to eat but she's not placing an order it's like Okay, uh, moving on. The energy of the environment, we have the nine of needles. This is um, fears and doubts and insecurities. So watch out for that. I mean, that may be something that you're unaware of, or I mean, you may be completely aware of it. It is the environment, however. So you're, you're being nudged by um, people and things and like, shows that you watch and things that you read are coming into your awareness about fears and insecurities and doubts. This is happening for a reason to help you in the situation. 
It may be to help bring your awareness to things that you're holding on to, fears and doubts and insecurities, so that you can, like they bring it to your awareness so that you can work on it. Let's see what's coming up in the near future. Wheel of Fortune. This is that ching, 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 ching. <laughs> well, this is the payout at the end of the karmic uh, cycle. It's saying um, timing will align. You will have that um, that stuck energy being released. And you will um, you'll be in the right place at the right time to receive that cosmic payout. It's a leveling up of sorts, moving on to bigger, better things. Let's see your surprise energy. We have the six of presence in reverse. This is no longer needing as much help or assistance from others, um, not, not needing the charity of others in any way. So if you've needed help from others, look forward to this good fortune that's coming your way that'll help you heal. I, I get a sense of uh, a great sense of independence that you're not necessarily expecting. Your hopes and fears, we have the high priestess. You want to stay dialed into your intuition here. You have a good sense of um, like how you receive your intuitive hits. It feels like you have a good line of communication with spirit here. So I, yeah, I'm not getting a lot of fear off of that. So that just makes me curious about the energy of the environment, that, that nine of needles the fears and doubts and insecurities being brought into your awareness through things that are you're exposed to in the environment. Don't shut that out. Don't, don't be so um, living in spirit that you disconnect from the human experience because um, I think that there are things that, that us Aquarians, we Aquarians are meant to realize and address about fears and doubts and insecurities. So don't shy away from engaging in that because it's coming up for a reason. Um, the end result is the chariot. This is more alignment with universal energy in a way that propels you forward toward your future. So it's not just saying, congratulations, you've leveled up. It's saying, all right, buckle in. Are you ready for what's next? It's zoom zoom time. Let's get you some advice. How can Aquarius best make use of these energies for their highest and best good? Rethink the plan. Two of candles in reverse. It can be saying, um, Because we're in this state right now, we're on our metaphorical horse, holding our metaphorical ace of pentacles, ready to act on it. So we're ready to leave the gates, the castle that we live in. We're ready to embark on our journey. But uh, we have a lot of aligning with timing here going on in the reading. So I don't think it's necessarily as much my standard interpretation, like I said, of um, rethinking the plan. I think it's just waiting, waiting to enact the plan. It's like saying, don't leave the starting gates. If you are like the Knight of Pentacles on your horse in a horse race, and you're like, where are the lights? Where's the beep? Why are the gates not opening? Why am I not like moving on this path, why well, I'm not, not already running the race. This is saying, trust, have faith, stay at the starting gates, you're right where you're meant to be. Good fortune is coming your way, timing is about to align. You're about to get propelled forward in a major way. Trust your intuition, and I, I think this is saying stick to the plan, just wait. All right, Aquarius, I hope this helped. Have a great rest of your day and I'll see you back tomorrow.